Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is Quaternion Rotations on the 16 cell. Um, so this is based on an idea suggested by David Ayala. Um, so this is a, yet another uh, sculpture that really lives in S3, the unit sphere, in R4. And it's uh, projected into R3 by stereographic projection so that we can print it. Um, and as usual, that projection in introduces some distortion in sizes. So there are all of these tetrahedra, the sort of big tetrahedra on the outside, and small tetrahedra on the inside, but they're really all the same size in S3. Um, so this is uh, based on the 16 cell. I did a video about this uh, a long time ago, um, which is one of the four-dimensional uh, regular polytopes in R4. Um, but I'm really only using the, uh, the edges of the 16 cell for this. Um, so what's going on here? So, um, so S3, I just mentioned, is the, the unit um, sphere in R4. Uh, so one of the ways of thinking about S3 is, is it's the unit quaternions. So what are the quaternions? Um, so these, these are the four-dimensional versions of, of the two-dimensional complex numbers. Right, a complex number um, has two real coordinates that go into it, but you can multiply them and, and add them and so on. Quaternions have four real numbers, and uh, S3 is the unit quaternions. So, um, you know, vectors with four entries, um, but uh, the length of the vector is 1. So that's the same as S3. Um, and, of course, quaternions, you can multiply them together, you can add them, and so on. Um, so you can ask, uh, what's a quaternion that's on the unit sphere? Well, 1 is, is a, so, or 1, 0, 0, 0, if you prefer, um, is a point of S3. And any other unit quaternion, if you multiply it by 1, you just get the same quaternion back. So the quaternions act... Um, the unit quaternions act sort of like points on S3, and they also allow you to um, transform S3 by multiplying by them. Um, so what this is, is uh, make a, a, a small tetrahedron centered around 1 in, in S3, uh, seen as the, the, uh, the unit quaternions, and then multiply that uh, tetrahedron by the same quaternion, and it moves somewhere. Um, and so you can ask, well, what, how, does, how does it... Uh, how does it appear to change that tetrahedron? Um, well, you can sort of think of, um, you, or you can see it here, as you move along this, this edge, this is actually uh, part of a great circle of S3, it's, it's sort of slowly rotating uh, the tetrahedron as it goes. So you can, um, you can actually see there's a, there's a whole circle here with uh, four segments. There's this outside one, and then this guy in here, there's a guy right in, in the middle, and then, then the fourth one there. And as you go around the circle, you actually uh, go through a full turn of this tetrahedron along its sort of axis, which is pointing along the circle. Um, so you can sort of see it here. So this point up here, as you move along, it moves to the outside here. And then as it goes down here, it's on the underside. On the very inside, it's moving. It's turning a little bit more, and it's maybe a little hard to see, but it reappears on, on the top side here. So this is uh, quaternion rotations on the 16 cell.